Hello colors and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona. In this episode, we are going to be discussing on some two interesting stories. We start with Jules Koundé as Barca president. Joan Laporta confirms that Koundé's availability for Real Madrid will be very important. Of course, which means that Koundé will be available and he will play against Real Madrid tomorrow Sunday. Then talking about the president himself, of course, Laporta who in a recent interview talks Xavi, Messi, captains, Kunde, Lewandowski, El Clasico, referring controversies. We are also going to be discussing on what the Barca Suprema had to say in that interview. So guys, before we get right into the story in full, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you are just coming across the channel for the very first time, you are highly welcome. Consider liking the video and please watch right up to the very end. Barcelona started the 2022-23 season in incredible fashion, scoring goals for fun, keeping clean sheets, and playing champagne football, if I could say. However, that last did not even go through, like that did not even last long enough. The international break hit Barca like a wrecking ball, as they lost Kunde, Araujo, Frankie Dio, Memphis Depay, all to injuries. The form of the team dipped as well, as they lost their momentum completely. Koundé and Arago being sidelined was especially concerning for Barcelona and the absence was evident against Inter Milan, both home and away. Barcelona now travelled to the Spanish capital to lock horns against Real Madrid after a morale destroying 3-3 draw against Inter Milan on Wednesday night. They are, however, boosted by the return of Jules Koundé. The same has been confirmed by our president, Juan Laporta, who said, Kunde will travel to Madrid with the rest of the squad. Kunde was signed from Sevilla for nearly 50 million euros and is already a cornerstone of Xavi's defense. The Frenchman has slotted in like a boat. You know, he plays center back, he also plays right back, assisting three goals so far this season, not to forget three clean sheets as well. His inclusion in the squad is a massive boost for us. After Gerard Piquet's up, miss up, um, or very poor performance, um, against Inter in the Champions League that Wednesday, the veteran Spaniard was uncharacteristically very poor through the game and was in some way or another responsible for all those three goals that we considered. It's great to have Kunde back in our squad who will travel to Madrid for the El Clasico tomorrow, confirms our president. Of course, it has been a big miss for us. You know, the international break came at a very bad time um, and one thing that just killed everything was the injuries. Like, it seemed as though the injuries selected but our key players and they were down. Araco, Kunde, Christensen. I mean, what about four to five players who went down with injuries? And of course, it came as a big blow for us. And when we, we, we take it, take note critically, our form has really gone down. The Barcelona prior to the international break is not the Barcelona now. We played so well, we scored goals for fun. Barcelona were playing as a unit, like everybody was fine. We had no injuries. That's why international breaks some coaches don't like it at all because of things like this. Now look at the fact we are close to leaving the Champions League. We are on the brink of elimination from the Champions League just because of international break. So it's just so unfortunate for us. You know, Kunde himself coming, nobody expected him to come this time because his injury was said to be about four weeks. But I think practically three weeks he is back. So I think his recovery has been fast than expected. Having him back for a crucial encounter like Real Madrid will be so crucial for us because had it been we still go again tomorrow's game against you no know, our squad is not the squad before the international break and I think definitely heading into that El Clasico, Madrid are the favorite. They are the favorites to win. Had it been it was a Barca before the international break, we can be saying that Barca are the favorite. But things are not like that again. So let's hope and see if we can perform the miracle to win there because it's never going to be an easy game because from what i see the morale of our players is down we are not the Barca before the international break so winning there you know will, will make us three points clear of real madrid because right now we are top we are top in la liga but just on goal difference so we have to go there to win and it will be so important if Barca can put the results of inter milan behind them playing Real Madrid as it is a different contest because if they leave the game against Inter Milan affect their morale, it's going to be devastated 
because of course the game shows that we are close to leaving the Champions League heading into the Europa League once in consecutive seasons because last season was the same thing and of course it has been a big disappointment but let's hope that our players go into that encounter tomorrow forgetting about the clash going about you know this new clash as it is a different game a game that we should win it's a game of pride and it's going to be important for us to win to continue leading la liga because at least even if we don't win the champions league, even if we don't win any trophy or well, let me say even if we don't win the champions league which shows that we are leaving the champions league very soon at least we should go for the league title for about four years we have not won la liga this should be the time that Barca should try to maintain the top of the table you know also because no fan i don't think anybody will accept a trophy less season like, like last season so it's time for us to show our superiority in the league of course we've been doing well in la liga but of course considered just one goal we're still unbeaten even real, real madrid are also unbeaten so i think our form in champ in the in the league is very very like we're well, a different team but when we go to the champions league we are unable to keep any clean sheet we concede for fun so things are different so let's just hope that our league form continue when we meet real madrid tomorrow then on to the next story of discussion there has been pressure mounting on barcelona after their recent poor run of form in europe which has left them on the brink of an exit from champions league and club president laporta spoke in an interview to reassure the fans of the team's objectives and the plans of the season the barca head coach or the barca president started off by claiming that the club's ambition this season is to win the league title the goal this season is la liga laporta said on barca tv plus he then thanked all the fans who came to support barca in that 3-3 draw against milan earlier this week saying that i thank all the fans who encouraged the team against inter i am sad that the victory was not achieved now the page must be turned the barca president then admitted that better things were expected from the team after the excellent summer window as he said I didn't expect our situation to be like this at this point this season. This summer, we have done everything we could to build a competitive team. Laporta also reflected on poor officiating that Barca had, have had to bear the brunt of this season, having been denied clear penalties in the games against Bayern and Inter Milan, while also having a goal disallowed. He said, We could have won against Bayern and the referee didn't give us a penalty for a foul on Dembele. What happened against Inter was just scandalous. The Barca president insisted that he still trusts manager Xavi, his coaching staff and the team, he said. I still have the same confidence in the team and the coaching staff. It's a team under construction. We know we have to change things. This squad can compete against big European clubs. It is necessary to adjust the team with the new players. The league is our goal. Let's go all out for the league. On the chances of making the knockout stages of the Champions League, he said. It's not a matter of hope. We have to win the two remaining games, Inter and Pleasant. Um, the play before us so we will know the result before we play by it. Now I will put the Champions League on one side and focus on La Liga. The Champions League group stage is very complicated but I like to talk when things are done. I'm left with the support of the Barca fans and it shows that they are very excited about this Barcelona. Further backing the manager, he said, Xavi has everyone's trust. He is a great coach and I'm convinced he will improve and give us a lot of success. I always speak to Javi in the office after games. I saw him sad and upset, but he has a virtue. When we are in a complicated situation, he always sees the positive side of things. Talking about the financial implications of possible group stage exit from Champions League, Laporta said, we could have half a deficit of 20 million or 25 million in case of being knocked out of the Champions League, but we will make up for it with sponsorship income, um, shared sales and additional income from the Europa League if we go there. The Barcelona captains have been targeted after Inter Milan game, with Gerard Piquet in particular coping a lot of criticism. Talking about the club skippers, the president said, The captains have, have given us a lot and they deserve all our respect and admiration. The relationship with them is so good. Laporta then requested fans to continue backing the team and Javi by saying that I want to say to the fans that I want them to continue believing that we have a very competitive team and that is that will give us a lot of joy. The fans have to support Javi. He needs it. He also confirmed that Kunde will be traveling with the rest of the squad to Madrid for El Clasico this weekend. As he said, Kunde will travel to Madrid with a group. On the upcoming Clasico against Madrid, the president insisted it was a great chance for the team to bounce back after the debacle in midweek. As he said, 
It is a great opportunity for this team at the Santiago Bernabeu after Wednesday result. It is fun to go and play at the Santiago Bernabeu. It's one of those games that fun to play. I have been lucky enough to be involved in some great Barca games. He been praised on new signing Robert Lewandowski, Laporta said. Lewandowski brings us a lot of professionalism and credibility. His attitude towards his teammates is so great. He is a leader. The president also confirmed that plans have been made for the January transfer window, as he said. This team is building itself. There are still adjustments to be made that will make it even better. We are working for the winter market. We are in talks with the sporting staff and the coaching staff with the intention of constantly improving this team. Laporta also confirmed that the club plans to honor former captain and legend Lionel Messi while also stating that he will meet the Argentine in France next week at the Ballon d'Or ceremony. As he said, we want to honor Messi, the best player in history. I will see him in Paris on Monday. I know that Barca means a lot to Messi, he said. Sunday will be the 18th anniversary of Messi's first match, the president pointed out. When quizzed if Lionel Messi will return to Barca next year, Laporta said, Messi is, Messi is a PSG player now and we have to respect that. I can't talk about his return. He once again reaffirmed that Barcelona have you know, have what it takes to bounce back from the current predicament by saying that we will get out of this situation, we have the ability to do so. On the importance of El Clasico, Laporta said, El Clasico is always very important, we have been a better team, we have a better system, I hope to be the leader at the year of the game. You will also see the team's ability to answer when you fall down and most important thing is to get up. Reiterating the need to honor Messi, the president said, we are aware of the importance of honoring Messi. There are many people who still wear his shirt. There have been reports of Laporta being very angry, furious about a game against Inter Milan during the rounds in the media, and he seems to have confirmed it indirectly when he said, If I had this interview yesterday, I wouldn't have come in this spirit, but I will continue to feel confident in the team and Xavi. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.